Hello my YouTube friend, this is Non Mechanic here and today I want to do a review on the Craftman Low Mower T110 and I am very satisfied with, with this low mower. It's my first one I ever had but it does what it's supposed to do for my grass. I have one acre and it does pretty well so I'm just going to make a quick review. Now this low mower has a, a fast a forward neutral and reverse I always keep it in neutral it also has the choke this is like the speed you want to go to if you have it in choke it won't go nowhere you see it has a fast it has a rabbit it also has slow it has a that's a turtle now when you turn it on it's in choke it won't go nowhere so as soon as you turn it on you put it on on fast and it start moving and then you can go slower if you want to go slow now this right here is to put the brake, you can see, park brake. If you put it all the way down, the brakes will be parked. And you can put it how much you want the brakes to be at, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however you want it to go. And then you have what we call here the clutch. It goes down right here. You can push it down. When you turn it on, you press this down and then you let it go slowly. And it'll start going. I'll show you when I start it. It also has the the stop, the um, the forward. This will not go nowhere. If you turn it on on the green and you try to go, it's not gonna go nowhere. It'll turn off. You have to go to green and then put it in the middle, and it'll start going. Now, one of the things I noticed about this right here, if you notice. This whole thing is like very loose. You haven't heard my the performance of it yet. So I don't know if it's this is the way it's supposed to come. But you can see that it's very, very, very loose. I'm gonna look it up to see if that's supposed to be like that. Now it only comes, you know, I wish they would have come with two keys, but it only came with one key. They should have two keys because you know you can always lose one comes only with one key also let me show you right here this to bring the deck down right here you see it if you see it this it brings the deck down let me pick it back up this is how low you want to cut your grass see how it goes up now if you want to cut your grass at five you keep it at five four three two one if you go to one, if you like it one, it's gonna go like real, real, real low. You see how low it goes? Look, it goes all the way down. I like to keep it at four, right here. But it's up to you how low you want your grass. Now, when you bring this down, you have this. This is like the blade engager. So now, when you bring the um the deck down, this you bring this down, and the blade is engaged. The gauge, the blade is start moving right there now you have a 42 inch um deck right here like i say it's a little dirty 42 inch has some nice good tires what i like about this um that you can actually move this like 18 degrees really good i'm gonna show you when i t turn it on also it has the light the lights turns on automatically once you turn it on these both light they turn on I think that's a good idea for me you know even in the daytime because people can actually see you also you have you can fill this up it only takes one gallon one gallon of gas I wish it would took more but it only takes one and it goes right here you fill it up right here right in there like I said I wish it would have took more but it only takes one I think with one gallon you can do almost one acre also the filter the air filter is right in here and if you, you wanted to change it you got you got like a key like a lock there that's locked and another one over there so all you do is just turn it Take this one too, you turn it, 
and there goes your air filter right there now to put it back you gotta make sure you see how this is straight right there make sure that this one is straight Make sure it's straight, you turn it, and you lock it. Same one here, and you lock it. Now this has a 17.5 Britain and Stratton engine. It's a one cylinder, and the spark plug is, let me see. The spark plug is right in there. Can you see it? That's the spark plug right there. It's a one cylinder. You also have your oil. Right here, this is where you fill up the oil, right in there. This right here is your starter, right here for this. What else do we have here? Also, you have your battery, right in here. If you ever wanted to change your battery, all you have to do is just push it back. And it's right here. Now, the only thing that I saw here that one of these nuts right here one was a 10 and one was a 11 I don't know why maybe they made a mistake or something or that's the way it comes then if you ever wanted to change the battery all you have to do is just push this right here first you disconnect them and then you push this down right here you push it down and this goes forward and your battery comes out now it, the, the seat if you was a little, I'm a little guy, so I had to push the seat all the way to the front. But if you wanted to move the seat, all you have to do is just turn this right here. And then you just move the seat back. And it's right in your position. So you just um, put it there. And that's about it. This is a nice little piece. It's the cheapest one Craftsman hand, the T110. They got up to great ones. Um, maybe I don't know if they're better than this one because I never had the other ones, but this one right here is pretty cool. So we're just gonna run it a little bit. Oh, another thing that I saw on this right here this shakes a lot. Now, I think I believe what this should have did because there's nothing holding it. Look, you just pick it up, and I'm afraid that one day you'll be, you be going. I don't know if it'll come up just like that. They should have built like a little clamp or something in there like they do in the cars. But this is like, and it shakes a lot, look. It shakes a lot, see it? So they should have put a clamp in there. The tires are pretty good, I like them. You can see they go through mud and everything. You shouldn't cut your grass when there's water and mud, but I just wanted to see how this doing mud. And it did pretty well. So let's get this started. Don't forget that when you turn it on, have your legs at all times in the clutch. Make sure this is a choke. Make sure when you turn it on, you go to fast, forward, the F. And then you're going to go to the middle. And then it's going to go. But for now, I'm going to show you when you're going to go in reverse, what you want to do, you want to press this button right here when you're going to go on reverse. So let's go reverse and you're going to see how the light turns on and when the light turns on it's going to go forward ready so i like that feature too because you got reverse and you can also loan and cut your grass going on reverse also and that's another plus on this lawn mower right here that you, can, you are able to go reverse but always put that button in there and the light goes on now so let's go go and cut a little grass on
So you see how I cut the grass pretty good? Right in there. I kept it at four because I like to cut my grass at four. And you notice that when I turned it off, I put it back in choke. Right in there. I press this down. I put it in choke. And I turned it off. These are the basic things you have. It has like the, all the things like the belt. You have one of the belts there. You have one in the top also. I believe the one in the top is a transmission one. But these parts look like they are very, they are very, very, very easy to change. So this is my review on this Craftman Lone Mower T110. Like I said, I'm very satisfied with it. It runs smoothly, it's easy to maneuver. And once again, this is not mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me at nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. Later. I'm just sitting here.